In this suspiciously small box right here, I bought the cheapest adult size electric quad on the internet. And if you're wondering what the most expensive one is, I don't really know, this was actually the only one I could find. And I only paid 2,000 bucks, which seems like a pretty good deal because the average gasoline powered quad is around $7,000. I cannot wait to see what this thing looks like. Let's open it up, chainsaw me. Same thing I said to my wife on our wedding day. <laughs> Bull cut me. Yeah, screwdriver for me. So here's part, here's part of the problem. This thing claimed to be an, an adult size quad. It's not an adult size quad box. Ta-da. That is not the tire of a full size adult quad. All right, I'm not, I'm not, it's not huge. I'm, I don't think it's really the adult size that I thought it was gonna be. It's fairly simple. This is the, uh, this is the electric motor bolted right up to the, uh, the uh, rear axle. And then what would be where the motor is is just a, hopefully a large battery. And then you have these giant, giant wires right here from, that go from the battery to the, uh, to the engine and somewhere is a controller and a whatever. Check it out, here's the, uh, I don't know, a parts list maybe? It's 2020 BSS. That's all we really know. I'm not sure why, but I had really high expectations for this. So. so what's interesting about the electric quad is it's kind of a dumb idea. Hold on, that was a little bit harsh. It's a stupid idea. Because quads are made for hunting and plowing and farming and off-roading and exploring. And for some reason, going so far out of your way to drive in incredibly deep water. And all these things almost exclusively require you to being far away from a charging station. And if you could charge up, charging would take too long, and it just doesn't make any sense. So if you run out of charge on the street, you just get a tow. When you run out of charge in the wild, well, you get eaten by wolves. But last year, someone named Ellen Musk, I don't know, I've never heard of him, maybe you have, made a cyber truck. And in that cyber truck was a cyber quad. Now, Musk made it very clear that he would never make an electric motorcycle. Maybe my auto cycle build will change his mind. But apparently, he has no issues making an electric quad. Now, since then, there's been no more information given about this e-quad. But a guy named Rich from Rich Rebuilds discovered that it was probably powered by a zero electric motorcycle engine. And he made one himself using a Raptor. Rich, if you see this video, send me your cyber quad. I want to do a review on it. But until Ellen actually releases his cyber quad, this is what the world has to offer in the greatest of electric quads. And most likely it came from China and cost them $37 to make. And before all you Tesla fanboys freak out, I'm just kidding, I know his name is pronounced Elaine. Now it's, it's a pretty, pretty cheap box, it's fairly flimsy, but I mean it worked, it got here from Japan or, no, China, let's just be honest, it got it from China. What do you think, Craig? Is it adult size? It's very much adult size. Can't wait, it's gonna be so fast. Now this is actually pretty interesting where they've got the battery. It's just strapped on there, but it looks like you can just yank the thing out. Just undo the straps, pull the whole battery out if you have to. I mean, that makes a lot of sense. Oh yeah, what's in this box over here? You, you know how like the, uh, the Chinese castings is a little bit not that great. Apparently the Chinese casting for their foam is also not that great. It's actually uh, English instructions. Decent looking English. Initial charge time 12 hours. Run time 45 minutes of continuous ride time. To ensure long battery life, do not store battery in above 60 degrees. In temperature above 60 degrees? Oh, Celsius, what is that? I'm just gonna hold this up. You throw, you start throwing the wheels on. So here's the good thing about electric motors is there's not that much to them. You got a motor, and then you got the battery, and you got the you know throttle control unit. I guess the other electric vehicle we bought from China uh, that's not worked since we first bought it. And that was ten thousand dollars on Amazon. Um, so you're already ahead. It's got adjustable, adjustable like ball joints and stuff. That's kind of cool. Should have realized what I was getting when I paid two thousand bucks for it. Yeah. Adult size electric quad. Does everything about this frame going down look very twisted? 
Well, I... if, if you look at it this way, like this is straight, but then when it comes to the other axle, that's twisted. Watch out, Craig. Cover your eyes. We're good. It, it could be. It could be that that, that might be of one. That, yeah, that might be why it was twisted. It still looks twisted to me. From this angle, just a little bit. Yeah. You remember in Jurassic Park when the girl went and grabbed those binoculars? And that lawyer was like, are they heavy? And she's like, yeah. And he's like, that means they're expensive. Put them away. This is heavy, but this feels very cheap. Oh, look at it from this angle. That looks so, this side is way up more. This side is way down. That's so twisted. Nice and gentle. Check this out, though. We got four bars. The best thing about the electric ATVs is even though the tires are flat, the steering's not connected, the handlebars are dangling, and the body's not bolted in, it should still run right out of the box. Hey, look at this. Oh, it's like, is it reverse? Hey, this thing's not that bad. Yeah, let's finish putting this thing together. It does look a lot bigger. It actually says spare bolts and nuts. First of all, if it was an American, it would say spare nuts and bolts. Just for all you Chinese uh, business people, marketing guys out there, nuts and bolts, not, not bolts and nuts. See how straight that one is? See how very non-straight that one is? Yeah. That's the type of quality you pay for. I pulled this little screw out of the back, out of the, the rear differential, and it was like pressurized. Really? Yeah, it was like tss. Get a whiff, get a whiff of that. Tell me it does not smell like propane. Oh yeah. It smells like some good, some good cheap gear oil. Like propane? Headline, Chinese think propane is gear oil. The name of the company that makes this axle is U-M-I-E Motor. Unimotor. Unimotor. The leader in awesome motors. So this is a 48 volt, 1500 watt power source. Maybe a Young Kang Eagle Motor Company LTD. This is the crappiest seat. This is supposed to like clip onto something. You see that down there? I'm gonna pull it with all my might and push all my weight down on it. Did I get it? Yes. Look how crooked this mount is. Like this thing's crooked. Everything's a little bit off, but then when you actually put it on there and you gotta bolt this to where it belongs, look how much it pushes down the body. I don't know, this could be the worst one so far. This is bad. Put the bolt where you can. Zip ties where you can't. You know, it's not a race bike unless it's got zip ties. As I'm putting this quad together, I'm reminded of all the other cheap Chinese ATVs and motorcycles that I've built. Surprisingly, they were all pretty awesome. Yet this one I bought for 900 bucks. Yet this one I bought for 2,000-ish dollars. Yet these pit bikes that were less than 1,000 bucks. Then you had this pocket rocket that was $300. And the list goes on and on. They were all awesome, except for the electric ones. That's not including Gary bike, which was a very expensive uh, mountain bike with an engine. Other than the fact that the frame still looks crooked, and whoever made this has a distorted idea of what adult size actually is, and the welds look poor, and the seat barely fits, I still have very, very high hopes for this electric ATV quad. The rear brakes are cable. The front brakes are hydraulic. Very strange. It's like, they, it's like they sourced the rear axle from some other company that had something different. They sourced the front from someplace else. As I try to convince myself that I didn't just waste $2,000 on a mobile iPhone charger with no USB power port, I knew that this adult size quad could still be awesome as long as it was fast. Can't wait, it's gonna be so fast. Is that it? Is that, is that? Is that all the fast it goes? It's going to be so fast. So fast. I bought this for myself and I literally just ruined my own Christmas with this. 
This thing's horrible. So we charged it up all night long, and then when we rode it, it was still horribly slow. And just to show you that I'm not exaggerating about how slow it is, I decided to race it. I think this one's faster. With a $400 electric ATV that I bought for my son when he was two years old. So oh, come on! All right, so there is no way that one's supposed to be that slow. All right, so I just got off the phone with the company that makes this, and they said that there's two wires connected to the control unit that if we disconnect them, that'll unlock the speed. And I was like, how, how is anyone supposed to know this? And I, I didn't see it in the manual anywhere, nor did I look at the manual. Maybe it's this stupid little wire. And now that I just unlocked the power of lightning, let's take this thing for a ride. Like all good high quality ATVs that are made for adults, this one also had a hidden safety wire that once disconnected, you were still very dissatisfied with its performance and left you wondering, why did I waste so much money on this when I could have bought myself a bunch of monitors and made a supercomputer setup like Batman and fought crime at night. You having fun yet? I might just leave it here. <laughs> so I'm gonna be honest with you guys, this is the worst one and this is not worth your money. This thing is horrible. L let me show you guys how bent the frame is, right? Watch this. Somehow this tire is not even touching the ground. The frame is so bent. So what do you guys think we should do with this thing? Should we try to fix it? Should we modify it? Is it a lost cause? Let me know, throw in the comments below. We'll see you guys next time. Subscribe and check out this next video right here.